That was for an example. So right there, he was pointing them to the past. God used Israel as an example. It still do. It's in the Bible. It uses all the time. People say that the Bible contradicts. Let's say, give you a quick example. You got Mark 8, Mark 5, and Mark and Luke 8. In that, we find the account of Jesus healing the demon, demoniac, right? But it clearly says in the scripture, there were two possessed with devils. That's, uh, I'm looking at Matthew 8, 28. And when he was come to the other side, when he was leaving from the ministry, he came over there and he was on the other side of the, um, we came on the boat, was on the other side. I think he was trying to get a breath because he had just finished the online ministry. There, he met two possessed, um, possessed with devils coming out of the tombs, exceeding fierce so that no man might pass by that way. I mean, they was like problematic. You weren't going to walk through there without seeing them, okay? But there's people saying that it was only one that he healed. It was, you know, whatever, whatever. Anyway, the Bible doesn't contradict itself. You have to take into account a few things. Context, writing style between Mark and Luke, uh, writing focus, the laws of logic. You have to take all that into consideration. You have too many people that are out here who have never even picked up the Bible and some that have, but they don't really read it or they, they speed reading. They lazy, okay? It's being honest. And they're not looking up words properly. They just, oh, I think it means this. Who reads like that? Um, don't read if you're not really ready to read, right? Don't read. I mean, if you want to read something, it's because you kind of want to glean the knowledge out of what it is you're reading, okay? If it's even worth reading. But, you know, if it is, then you want to get the information that it has. It possesses something you need to receive from it, right? You obviously don't know something or you don't know enough about a topic. So you read to find out. You research to find out. So research, right? Um, That just always, that's a pet peeve of mine. So not upset with you guys. Sure, you don't do that. I'm just saying. Um, it's something that you don't want to do. If you're really going to read, you're going to read because you want to get whatever it is from it. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. What would be the point, right? All right. So God used the children of Israel. He's using the Bible. That's the first one, right? I could probably stop right there to talk about the past so that why? It can help us. Us people who we weren't living back then, we're trying to do this thing now. We're walking this our salvation out with fear and trembling. We're trying to make it. Okay. Ain't always easy, but we try to make it. And it's not always hard either, right? Some days it's easier than others. And I honestly think that it's a it's a level of, of challenge. And it's a level of um, I don't want to use the other word. It's it's a level of challenge. I'll say that, right? Of course it is, because you're fighting. I mean, the word resist already shows you that there's some. <laughs> from seven, there's some pushback there. So James 4, 7, we resist the devil. We resist the enemy. And if you resist them, then you resist them long enough because you're serious about this thing. So you're not going to say, oh, get away from me, devil. Okay. And then think he's just going to stop. No, you're going to have to really stand up for yourself. But when you do, he will flee. Because he's like, okay, what's the point? I can, you know, we could be, it's really the demons because he can't be everywhere at one time. Okay. But the demons that are assigned to you, they'll give up. They'll give up. So he used the children of Israel to help us, okay? The life of Jesus is example after example after example. 1 Peter 2, verse 21 through 24. Let me just read that real quick. And I wanted to have 